So this is a recording test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a recording test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, now let's see if I can upload it effectively. So you can see down here, the job got picked up, got queued. Then now let's bring back my UI. So you can see how the UI is changing to indicate that it's processing this entry. So while we're waiting for that to finish, we could just take a quick look at the configuration of the queue. So where's my queue? So I set up my jobs. For now, I say anyone can access them. I set my queue to run every two minutes, limit of processing two jobs at a time. And I use my task to transcribe the audio. Here's the input. I pass in an ID. It identifies what the type is and says it's required. There's no output schema. I probably should change that. And then here's the handler. So you can see right now it finally picked up the task and it processed it. If we go back, you should see it's completed and it got my text. So this is recording, one, two, three. My transcribe audio handler, it basically just takes the blob and transcribes it, but the focus here really is on payload. So let's go to my payload note. When I'm saving it, if I have something in pending process, I switch it to processing. And then what happens in after the change, it checks and sees is there anything sitting in processing mode? If there is, let's queue it. So here's where we queue it. And then the payload kind of queue task workflow manager just takes over. I'm gonna do a longer video on the whole thing while we're through all the code. Just wanted to do this short preview.